Hello friends, this video is created by Sadhar Tupadhyay, founder and creator of Prep Wings. Log on to www.prepwings.com for complete free course videos. So in this video we will learn about how to read through a passage. So most of the GRE RC passages are boring and difficult. Okay. So you need to pay attention while you read the passage. Okay. Do not read the passage like a leisure article. Okay. So always be attentive when you, whenever you are reading a passage on the exam. So it is not necessary to understand each and every line of the passage, but it is of critical importance to understand the meaning of the passage as a whole. Okay. What it means is if you are not able to understand a line completely, you can, but you can still understand just the meaning of it. It is still fine. Okay. So the best way to read a passage is to understand each paragraph of the passage. So suppose there are three paragraphs in the passage, paragraph one, paragraph two and paragraph three. Okay. Read the first paragraph with utmost attention. Okay. The first paragraph tells you about the passage. The first paragraph is very important. Okay. It will tell you what the passage is about. In fact, I also reread whenever I get a passage, I reread the first two lines. Okay. So I'll read it once. Even if I get it, I'll read it again. Okay. So sometimes it might happen. I'll read the first two lines and I vaguely understand those two lines in a tough passage, but I'll go back, read them again to understand exactly what the two lines, the first two lines mean. Okay. Because if you don't understand the initial part of the passage, understanding the passage below, like going to paragraph two, paragraph three, Okay, it will be very, very difficult then. Okay, so read the first paragraph with utmost attention and in the first paragraph, read the first one or two lines with utmost care. Okay. So when you read each paragraph, try to make small notes on it. Okay. So after you have read the entire passage, you will have notes about each of the paragraph. So for example, our passage has three paragraphs, paragraph one, paragraph two and paragraph three. Okay. And you'll have notes about each paragraph. Okay. Note might be like just one line note. Notes means what do you understand from that paragraph? Okay. So whatever you understand from paragraph one, just write one line about it. Okay. It is a good practice initially when you're doing RC questions to try to make notes. As you progress in your preparation, you will realize that you'll not be required to make notes of each paragraph. Okay. Because then your ability to comprehend things has become much more better. Okay. But initially it is important to make notes about each paragraph. Okay. So making notes for each paragraph helps you in two ways. It helps you to focus on the paragraph that you're reading because you have to make note about it. Once you have made the notes of all the paragraphs, it helps you to see the flow of the entire passage. You can just look through your notes and you can see how the passage is structured. Okay. An important point is special attention should be provided to the first and last sentence in a paragraph. Okay. So for each paragraph, you should be attentive, especially attentive about the first sentence and the last sentence of the paragraph. Okay. Okay. So when you read through a passage, you should be aware of the trigger words. Trigger words can reinforce an idea or can change the direction of the passage. So if you look at words such as however, although, but, unless, while, rather, despite, okay, these words are change direction words okay, because anything coming after however will be different from the thing that is written, written before however. Okay. So after however, the next line will change the direction of the passage. Okay. Then looking at words such as thus, therefore, hence, and similarly, it means. These kinds of words are called as same direction words. Okay. Because they reinforce the idea. Okay. So this is not a complete list of all the change direction and same direction words. But be aware and be alert to recognize these trigger words. Okay. So this is how you should read through a passage. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching this video.